Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this x value as 7 plus 4 times square root of 3. And now we are going to find the value of square root of x plus 1 divided by square root of x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. We know that our x value equals to 7 plus 4 times square root of 3. So therefore, if we want to write 1 divided by x, so this is same as writing 1 divided by 7 plus 4 times square root of 3. And now let's go ahead and rationalize this denominator. That means we are going to multiply and divide by this conjugate of this one. So that is going to be 7 minus 4 times square root of 3 divided by 7 minus 4 times square root of 3 as well. Now let's go ahead and multiply out these denominators and likewise numerators as well. So therefore we are going to get 1 over x equals to on the right hand side when we multiply the, the numerators we are going to get simply 7 minus 4 times square root of 3 divided by let's go ahead and write down this one 7 plus 4 times square root of 3 and then times 7 minus 4 times square root of 3 as well. And now let's focus on this denominator part. And here I have copied it down and we can see that this represents the product of the sum and the difference. So therefore we are going to use this famous identity. So therefore we can write this one as 7 square minus 4 times square root of 3 whole square. 7 square is same as 49 minus 4 square is 16 and then times this square square root they undo each other so we got simply 3 and now 49 minus 16 times 3 is 48 49 minus 48 is simply 1 so this whole thing has been simplified to 1. So therefore our this equation is going to become 1 divided by x equals to 7 minus 4 times square root of 3 divided by this whole thing is simply 1. So thus we can write this 1 over x equals to when we divide by 1, we simply get 7 minus 4 times square root of 3. And here's our next step. Let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2 times ab plus b square. If I replace this a by square root of x and this b by 1 divided by square root of x then our this equation is simply is going to become a square root of x plus 1 divided by square root of x whole square equals to right hand side we are going to use the same so we are going to write down square root of x whole square plus 2 times square root of x times 1 divided by square root of x and finally plus square root 1 divided by square root of x whole square and now we can see on the right hand side this square square root they undo each other this square root of x and this 1 divided by square root x they cancel each other out likewise this square square root undo each other so the right hand side is going to be simply x plus 2 and then plus 1 divided by x and the left hand side is going to stay same and now we can see that this x we are going to replace this value of this x which is 7 plus 4 times square root of 3 and likewise 
I am going to replace this 1 divided by x by this 7 minus 4 times square root of 3. So on the right hand side, so when I replace this x, which is 7 plus 4 times square root of 3, and then plus 2, and then plus 1 over x in our case is 7 minus 4 times square root of 3 and the left hand side is going to stay same and now we can see that this 4 times square root of 3 and this negative 4 times square root of 3 they are gone. So the right hand side is going to become 7 plus 2 plus 7 is going to give us 16. So therefore we got square root of x plus 1 divided by square root of x whole square equal to 16. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on the left hand side and the square root on the right hand side as well. And now we can see this square, square root is gone. So we simply ended up with the square root of x plus 1 divided by square root of x equals to on the right hand side square root of 16 is going to be positive or negative 4. So thus our square root of x plus 1 divided by square root of x value turns out to be a positive or negative 4. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.